Welcome to Hypertune and today we are talking about the Subaru Forester GT edition. Check it out. So I have it here in my visitor car park. So there's like a ton of other cars here. Let's ignore them. And uh, I'm about to do a cold start. I've had this car. Well, let me just show you guys. I'll give you a quick outside view of it first lah, before I take it into detail. Yeah, it actually looks much more badass in real life despite its full van-like size. But anyway, to before I get into more detail about it, I'll just move out of this cramped area. I'll just put you guys on my head lah. Uh, all right so this is classic subaru dials like give the full ding. got a very nice chunky steering wheel or oh, very nice grip on start itself for for me love for my opinion i like the feeling all right so let's get to somewhere a bit less crowded yeah Ooh, maneuvering inside a tight area, no issue at all for something this big. Alright, we got some open space over here. Alright. Luckily, everybody's gone to work, so... Yes. Don't judge me for blocking the lot or whatever. It's only in my apartment area, so it's all good. Alright, let's, uh, let's start us off with the interior. Okay, what we have here is... A Subaru Forester, the GT edition. No differences to the inside at all. It's only of the body kit outside. But anyway, inside, uh, okay. What you get is Subaru's X mode, which uh, helps you maneuver through any tricky situation. Literally, because you have snow and dirt, you have deep snow and mud, and then you have normal. So this will help the all-wheel drive system to pull you out of all the snow and dirt or deep snow and mud. So it will adjust things everywhere, and I'm not so much into that world but as far as i know it works because i'm just gonna turn that off it works decently enough because i took it to a really wet field yesterday i couldn't get it on video because it was in the dark and there was no issues with the car coming out i did actually i only put in snow and dirt did I put in snow yeah i put in snow and dirt mode not deep snow and mud because uh it was capable enough in snow and dirt itself so that got the job done all right so off-road part that's that's about it that actually matters here and again uh, when it comes to malaysians buying something of this size and this quality for 177,000, chances are they're not going to actually take it off road that's my opinion i'm sure there will be a couple of people out there doing it but uh in my opinion not really lah so okay what do you get for the price you get uh subaru eyesight system subaru's eyesight system uh, control all the controls over here and also up here we have a lane departure warning you have a collision braking uh, it wants you if you get near and it will also break the car for you i can do a demo for you all after this you can do it against the wall over there and uh you have the blind spot assist traction control memory seat srh off i'll be honest i'm not sure what that is i should probably have checked that out first anyway as a family car you get tons and tons of space and i do not mean that frivolously like for real you do get a lot of space here like of course i know i'm not such a big person but i feel like i'm drowning in space over here there's you got a cup holder you got space down here you got a, a grip in here where you can put stuff you also have okay this one for the smart tag i guess and then you got two cup holders and then you also have a little slot here to put anything and over here you have a coin holder with a little platform you just take it out you have a full glove box of course my power bank's inside no issue i didn't even know it was there i forgot and, and then you have a slot inside here if you are a I modern iphone user then you may find it a bit tight because uh my i've got an iphone 8 plus and that doesn't entirely fit yeah so when as you're driving around if you take corners and it tends to shuffle about and come out so that can be annoying if you have a small phone no problem but of course you can fit in here no issues at all okay, i'm going to turn the air on because i'm going to stop boiling soon is the engine warm enough yes warm enough okay yeah actually that brings me on to the dials and oh i don't need auto nope, 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 nope. okay i will be honest i expected more the dials seem a tad bit 
out of this price bracket that's the that's a polite way i can say it. i expected it to be a bit more fancy because like i was taken in by the steering wheel and all that because it feels modern uh, not too many digital things here and there i like the fact that it's all clear and simple you're not being bombarded because everything's simple nice and clear you got to uh, change your audio things there and all that so, so i like this when i moved on to this i feel like this is something you get in a car slightly older as well so yeah, it's just my opinion of course i guess if you have it like this there's less things to go wrong lah. but it is easy to use no doubt it is easy to use you control the um, fan speed over here temperature here temperature here mode and all it's very simple to use so that's still a win and then you have the infotainment system and you have an extra digital readout over here that one you can control what what views you want uh, you can of course see your mileage, your distance to petrol station and the system's on, you have an inclinometer, inclinometer yeah. you know how much the tilt left right, which wheels are being driven the most stirring and, and then of course my favorite one is the water temp, oil temp and every speed which is makes you feel like you're in a JDM car a bit as if you have the DEFI gauges you know but not really and then the infotainment system is as usual, you can't expect for anything else you have a nice 360 camera you can also operate it from here there's a button called view here and i thought you can use it at any speeds but uh, i don't know the exact speed yesterday i used it up to about 30 and it was still fine i assumed it would work all the way but then when i was doing about 60 or 70 on the highway i couldn't turn it on so that means i'm guessing somewhere in between there it will stop so that you don't get distracted so you get a nice big view of everything in 2d mode while you're driving let me just show you guys while you're driving it will actually move and show you like Look at that, it's literally, it's live, you know? So that's kind of cool and you can even change the view of it like, okay, from the left, look at it from the right, and all that kind of stuff. So I, to be honest, I find this very nice. Like it is kind of cool, but it is distracting. I will definitely admit to that. All right, so the first thing I usually realize when I'm driving around like this small area, I've been in the town area, we haven't, uh, this video was actually shot before the MCO allowed you to uh, do interstate travel. So I've been in the city area only and i actually realized just how easy it is to use because i in your head in my head lah okay sorry i assume that using a four wheel drive car of this size means the steering is going to be a bit heavy it's not going to be entirely easy to maneuver around but it is the complete opposite it is so easy to move around again it's huge right but there are no blind spots at all like like not even relying to the systems like i have a clear view everywhere i don't feel any obstruction in the sense the only thing is that uh, getting used to the distance of just how far the hood is like how far you are from the front so judging that is a bit difficult but it's not impossible that's for sure it's definitely not impossible it's just something you need some getting used to the video on yeah yeah so that just gets some takes some getting used to other than that actually the car is sublime to use around fuel economy has been so other than that, the car is actually sublime to use around. So before my, I have to get my mom and run some errands, what we shall do is we shall talk about the exterior. So let's get this car back to the spot. All right, so let's check out the exterior. All right, first, like I said earlier, the first thing I realized, uh, it's beeping because the key is here. First thing I realized is the huge van-like mirrors, man side window sorry they, they are absolutely huge but they actually help you feel completely connected to the world around you despite the size of it in terms of weight it weighs it weighs in at about 1.6 tons 1.56 something tons last so if you add one or two people inside it's already more than 1.6 tons anyway and you do feel the weight the, the reason you feel the weight is because actually let me show you the reason you feel the weight is because what is powering this very heavy huge all-wheel drive driven beast is a naturally aspirated two liter boxer engine uh, let me turn off the turn it off so that it's not too noisy yeah so two liters uh, naturally aspirated boxer engine the one the same one you get in the xv uh, the power is at 155 horse and 190 ish newton meters of torque which is enough to get this car moving around as a family machine no doubt i've been using it the past few days 
driving around here even going on the highway and all that so hitting the top speed and all it it doesn't have any issues doing it but if you are someone seeking out performance and this to be to what chase and hunt down other cars and all that then on the streets no but in the corners you definitely can because you have Subaru's asymmetrical all-wheel drive system that is 24-7 awake it is always managing the power it is always making sure you get maximum grip to the road and I mean come on it's a Subaru they know obviously how to do this and honestly they, they've nailed it lah I went on a smart tunnel run with my friends the other day and this car absolutely killed it like absolutely killed it I had no issue not even one time I had to like be worried about oh no it's getting twitchy none of that completely stable and the fact that it looks so dope it looks dope like look at it you got the GT the GT kit brings it up to 177k you get the uh, you get a nice roof spoiler which of course yeah it doesn't make much sense but it looks cool honestly it looks really working for me I think GT wheels uh, twin spoke twin color thingy oh, it's not bad I kind of dig that also but yeah I wouldn't mind swapping it out for anything else and then you get a little lip behind you get a nice GT edition uh, badge over here uh, you get side skirts and of course at the front you get a nice big uh, front splitter uh, let me just shut it so that you guys can have a nice look of it a uh, little nice funny little hack about the hood is you can open it up all the way to the top if you just put the lock over here <laughs> so it's like you get a nice huge ass bonnet opening but anyway that's not the main point yeah so yeah. all right so the Subaru XV GT this is it in my opinion it is worth what they are asking for but it also makes a difference to the practicality because you have to know the target market and for the target market this is the jackpot I use it not as how it's meant to be because I'm not a family man carrying so many kids but after this I'm going to show with my mom but to be honest I fetched my parents yesterday I don't have kids and all but it feels so extremely spacious and these seats have not been pushed forward so much just to show you that it's spacious okay for real it is spacious like yesterday I had my brother sitting who's much taller than me and my dad sitting here who's taller than my brother and uh, he had the seat poodle pushed back and there's no issues here and the best thing my grandmother noticed this because of course that's where the logic comes in you don't have to step up into the car to get into the seat as you do with much SUVs you just you literally just sit that is the lot the best part about the dynamics going on here because it is all people friendly it is people friendly you want to carry and put things inside it's so easy you don't need to like lift it up and put in it's just at the same level so that makes your life way way easier and of course at the back you have everything like everything you need is here you get an armrest in the center you get charging points and all that but, I mean to be honest you need very little else from a family SUV of course it's a five-seater which is good enough for most people nowadays you got a huge boot at the back you got a power boot <laughs> I really like the lights very much like the STI like from far gives a real nice ooh sexy I got something going on kind of feeling All right, so it's a power boot of course you just press the button and it goes up I can ignore this. this is something that came with the car you got a huge ass boot and you can just drop the seats easily by just pull of a button and they drop flat and then you have a massively commodious boot space this is of course closable lah. you can remove it if you want to turn this thing into a huge van which it already seems to fit anyway then you shut the boot and you have a very very capable family wagon so this is my mother she's gonna make a entry into this video today Ma, say hi to hypertin hi <laughs> okay so she's got a massage bed here that is actually the perfect vehicle to take this in because very easy actually yeah you can show this okay so you want to open the tailgate you can press this button here okay then button you press it once it's automatic so the light will beep you can press it again for one ah then it goes up it's uh... okay so you can ignore the other things inside so let's say you want to put this inside put it down first if it's not going to fit inside here which i think it will actually but for the sake of demonstration what we do is you can just drop the rear seats with this button here Ding button Ding. 
button. Say it easy. So you no need to go and unlock anything and put down like another car. So. That's right. Yeah, and that's convenient. Yeah, compared to most of the other rivals, it's not that high. Like compared to the one our father, uh, my father has, which I cannot mention the name of that car, but compared to that one, yes, I. You'll have to lift it higher to put it inside compared to this, which is already just at my. It's just at my thigh it side, and yeah, so that's much easier. Put in. Put in. The slide. Yeah. So actually, I didn't need to drop the seat also for this one. Looks easy. Uh, and the best part is, uh, it's close power boot as well. So just press. And if let's say you have things here, or that you have a child. Mm. It'll open itself back okay. if it senses something which is obstructing, so it's gonna be safe. Okay, mm. that's a good safety. Safe and easy. So, shall we go? Yes. Okay. Let's. So, my parents got in the car yesterday night when we went out. The, their first reaction, la, I didn't catch it on camera sadly. Their first reaction was, wow, so spacious, huh? so big. Huh? So, actually, now you all know the target market, la, right? There's people who actually want space in the car and all that. Running short of time, and I don't want to put it in the boat. I do believe the space is enough. Yeah, it, it actually to is. Fit the massage bed vertically. Exactly. That's actually proof enough because even without the seats folded down, I could have put it in. I just wanted to show you guys, and it'll fit here without any issue whatsoever. That's a good mark for Subaru. It's such a hot day, Simo. Shall we go, Mother? Yes, we shall. Okay. Sun. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, like I mentioned earlier, driving it around is very easy, especially uh, not especially despite given the size and what it may feel like as if it's such a huge and long thing. It just takes a bit of adjusting only. And this is not only because like I'm somebody who always drives or not, but anybody who gets into it also will have no issue and all that. Like chances are not stereotyping, but just saying that chances are this will also end up as something which he couldn't walk faster to the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna purposely leave that in the video. Chances are that this is something which uh, a mom would use to send the children to school and back, or a dad, a parent like, would use to. Send do all the groceries, send to school and back, and those kind of running around a bit of heavy work because can fit a lot of people inside and all, and fetching the in laws and all the boring things. But that's the best part, like, it's easy to use around with that kind of thing. And if you want to go on a long journey, definitely no doubt there's a like no issue with that because it's so comfortable, it's completely comfortable. The seats behind are not hard, they soak you in nicely. Yesterday, we took about what, 40 km like, from here to, to Nilai. Was it Nilai or Bangi? Bangi. Bangi, uh. And no no issue at all like that. It's completely comfortable. Although one thing I have to say, I can't demo the speakers for y'all because there's copyright uh, on the music, but the speakers are not the best. Sadly, I'll have to admit to that. But that's the only thing I'm admitting to. Everything else about the car is perfectly, perfectly fine. I was using the eyesight system, which I can't demo now because in, in a small place, the eyesight system is so intuitive. It is so smart. It is always active. It is always making sure that you keep the set distance you can control distance uh, the cruise control distance with the car ahead it brakes gently for you it accelerates smoothly for you it always keeps you at a safe distance and it i loved it like for at least half the journey once you got on the highway i never touched the brake or the throttle i didn't need to you only have to handle it on the steering part and i love using that and it shows you that's the best part it shows you how far you are away from the car in front that the car which the radar has selected itself onto and all that and the, those are things you actually enjoy and children in the car also like to see that when you try and try <laughs> Again, another another test of the spaciousness I'm, my mom's trying to do yoga and find the phone in <laughs> I found it mm. well, that depends on my flexibility as yeah, well okay. so that is down to the, the person who's doing it as well huh? <laughs> but that means right you fitting your hand through the gap here wasn't yes. so like stuck in between and all that it wasn't yeah, again, well, this, normally in other cars, it yeah, this is not something like any company is going to try and tell and promote but it's something day to day people will actually use like oh no I left something behind yeah. easy to take or not hard to take or not that yeah. kind of thing that's right yeah 
fuel economy a bit of the boring details but it's also a very practical detail you have a 60 ish liter tank which means around 95 with current price you would probably need about 110 120 maybe yeah about 100 to 120 ringgit to fill up full tank lah. on my kind of driving which i've been because again i've been testing the car in terms of performance as well i managed to get 410 km for a full tank which may not sound good at all granted i did about 14 liters uh, per 100 km which again is not impressive but you have to remember that is down to the driver and what kind of driving if you are driving around like uh senseless not person. yeah senseless that's the word senseless person then it's gonna of course be terrible fuel economy lah. Yeah, that was a quick sample of the pre-collision braking system activated so it detected the car in front and it stopped me in time from here it may look like it's too near but trust me that's because of the perspective of the hood and all that when you go stand there yeah, that's actually enough like there's three people can stand in between there so there's more than enough space and i don't dare to try it again <laughs> Just leave it as it is. So that guys is the Subaru Forester GT edition. You want to check it out, head over to any Subaru showroom. Uh, the one in Subaru PJ has this as well. It's all speak and spend. It's new and launched during the MCO time. So this is a chance to go and check it out, feel it out, enjoy the drive because it's superbly smooth to drive. And it's very commodious for a very practical reason. That's the best part. And it's mom approved. <laughs> That's the best approval. Okay, and don't forget to follow the Hyper Team page, subscribe, like, and comment. We're gonna come out with more and more videos for you guys.